on quick job. Trust them. Please be seated. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Today, the chamber will resume. Aujourd'hui, hearing the testimony of a Cambodian via video link. La témoin, Madame Bowen, par lien audiovisuel. Mr. M. Hoy, please report Monsieur the Am attendance Hoy, of the party and other individuals to today's proceedings. Greffier, Mr. President, Greffier. for Monsieur today's President, proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nguyen Chia is present in the holding cell downstairs. Monsieur Nguyen Chia est présent également dans la cellule de détention. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffier. A été remise au greffier. A witness who is to testify today, that is Madame Kambuen. Madame she Kambouen will provide testimony by video link from Batambang province. Par moyen audiovisuel depuis the la province AV de technicians confirms that uh, the technical system has been ready. Les services techniques and uh, for que witness le dispositif and uh, duty counsel, Mr. Monotier, they are ready for today's proceeding. Thank you very much, Mr. President. President, thank you. Le président. The chamber now Merci. decides on the request by Nunchia. The chamber has received a waiver from Nunchia dated La chambre a été saisie the 5th of May 2015, which states that due to his health, there is headache. Back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to participate in and be present at the 5th of May 2015 hearing. He advised that his counsel advised him about the consequence of it, this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nuntia by the duty doctor for the accused at ECCC dated the 5th of May 2015, who notes that Nuntia has a chronic back, back pain when it sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 81.5 of the ECCC's internal rules, the Chamber grants Nunchia his request to follow today's proceeding remotely from the holding cell downstairs via an audiovisual means. AV technician is in, are instructed to connect Les techniciens sont priés de raccorder la to link the proceeding to the room downstairs so that he can follow the proceeding that applies for the whole day. Before I uh, give the floor to the Avant defense de counsel for the accused, I would uh, like to ask whether defense, uh, judges on the bench has any questions si questions à poser for à this la witness. You may now proceed, uh, Judge Lavergne. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Madame. Est-ce que vous m'entendez Oui, je vous entends. Morning. Bonjour. Bien, Madame, j'aurais quelques questions. Assez There peu, ce sont essentiellement Madame, des questions de suivi par rapport aux questions qui vous ont déjà été posées. Questions. Tout d'abord, j'aimerais revenir sur la date à laquelle vous avez été nommé à la tête de la commune de Cheng Thorn. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire exactement quand vous avez été nommé à la tête de cette commune
จางสมจุมเรียวินเนสมิสเตอร์มิสเตอร์เพรสเดนต์ I do not recall when I was appointed. However, I remember that I was appointed in 1973. There was no official ceremony held at that time. I was only told that I was appointed. Et est-ce que vous souvenez? Du nom de vos prédécesseurs, des personnes qui avant vous étaient la tête de cette commune. That is the persons who were chiefs of that commune before you. Answer. Yes. However, I do not recall well. Mais je ne m'en souviens pas très bien. Before that time. Le nom. Avant cela. De est-ce que le nom de Sao Van, alias Sao Port, vous dit quelque chose? Alias Sao Port, mean anything to you? The name Sao Van, alias Sao Port. Witness, could you repeat the name again? It's not clear to me. Alors, je vous prie de m'excuser parce que mon accent, évidemment, est très mauvais. I crave your mais le nom my que is, uh, je vous porte à votre connaissance, c'est celui de bad. Sao But Van, the name alias I am Sao Port. You is, is Sao Van, alias Sao yeah. Port. Answer, yes. Oui. Quelles étaient les responsabilités de cette personne What were the duties and responsibilities of that person? Witness, I uh, did not know clearly about him. Je ne sais pas he was ce also était. in charge in uh, the il était responsable commune, de la I, commune uh, aussi, his, uh, mais je ne sais pas exactement quelles étaient ses fonctions. Il était responsable en même temps que vous Was Et jusqu'à quand In charge at the same time as yourself Was he an official at the same time as yourself And if so, up until when What Answer. He was in charge at the same time as me. I do not know when he his duty ended, but we were working together for a long time as well. Nous avons collaboré pendant longtemps. Dans votre audition, vous avez parlé de quelqu'un qui s'appelle Sam Bit. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire quel était le rôle? Can you tell Sam us bit. what was the position of Sam Bit? Answer. I do not know Sam Bit very well. Je ne connais pas Sam Bit. Je ne le connais pas très bien. He came to work in Takao region. Il est venu travailler dans la région de Takao. And after Later, I do not know about him. Et par la suite, je ne sais pas ce qu'il est devenu. Avez-vous assisté à des réunions présidées par Sam Bit? Did you attend meetings led by Quels étaient les sujets qui ont été discutés pendant ces réunions? What were the subjects discussed during that meeting or during those meetings? Answer. I never attended the meeting with him. Je n'ai jamais participé à une réunion avec lui. Hier, on vous a parlé également d'une personne qui s'appelait Dame et qui travaillait au bureau du district. Vous avez dit que vous souveniez de cette personne. 
Est-ce que vous pouvez nous préciser quel était exactement son Can rôle au bureau du district what was his precise role in the district office witness Dam did not work in the district office Dam ne travaillait pas Dam au bureau du district I uh, cannot recall it je ne m'en souviens pas Quelles étaient alors ses fonctions S'il ne travaillait pas au bureau du district, qu'est-ce qu'il faisait Qu'est-ce Avez-vous eu l'occasion de discuter avec Dan Est-ce que vous l'avez rencontré avec Dan Did you meet him? Answer no. Non. He was working Il... in the uh, district in the office. Il travaillait I dans have le never met him. Je ne l'ai jamais he... rencontré. President, he... I uh, notice you are on your feet. Je vois que you have anything to address the chamber? Allez-y. Oui, excusez-moi pour cette interruption. Bonjour. Uh, euh, je crois qu'il y a effectivement une petite confusion concernant la prononciation. Euh, Puisqu'on a parlé de dame, et puis on, je crois que la personne que le juge voulait viser au bureau du district, c'était plutôt Dorn, et a accent circonflexe N. Donc je ne sais pas si on peut clarifier les noms qui ont été mentionnés. Ça pourrait aider le témoin. You can clarify the witness's name to Madame le witness. témoin, est-ce que vous avez entendu le procureur witness, Il semble qu'il y ait peut-être deux personnes, It would appear dame there are two qui travaillaient dame à Crank Tan Chan who at et Dorn qui Dorn travaillait au bureau who du district. district est-ce que vous vous souvenez de Dorn Do qui travaillait au bureau du district Don. Witness. Yes. Don. Oui, Don. Uh, his name was Don. Il s'appelait Don. Et Don. Jus Jusqu'à quand Don a-t-il travaillé And au bureau du district Up until when did Don work in the district office Don took a number And uh, Don was working in Don the district office. Travaillait au bureau du district. Up until a certain period of time, I uh, do not recall when. Donné, he was working there for quand. a long period of time. En tout cas, il a travaillé là-bas longtemps. My recollection. D'après mes souvenirs. Et où est-il allé après? And where did he go after that? Answer. I do not have any idea where he went Je ai aucune idée. afterwards. Je ne sais pas du tout où il est allé par la suite. Since I uh, was not working in the district office. Moi-même, je ne travaillais pas au sein du bureau du district. Alors, maintenant, on va parler de Dam, Now, celui qui travaillait we'll à Crank Tan Chan. Est-ce qu'il a travaillé tout le temps à Crank Tan Chan Ou est-ce qu'à un moment, il a cessé ses fonctions à Crank Tan Chan Je ne m'en souviens pas. Because uh, he was not in the commune je ne m'en souviens pas parce qu'il n'était pas dans la même commune que celle où je travaillais. Avez-vous su si Dam avait par la suite été lui-même détenu à Krangchachan Witness, I do not know about this. Je n'en sais rien. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez 
que l'on vous a montré un document C'est le document D157.64. Est-ce que le conseil qui est à côté de vous pourrait vous montrer ce document Avez-vous trouvé ce document D157.64. Nous essayons de rechercher le bon. The document is now found. Ça y est, nous l'avons trouvé. Alors, pour le transcript, je précise que l'ERN en Khmer est le suivant. 0027. 09 74 à 75 le RN en français et 00 78 92 72 le RN en 73 et le RN en anglais et 00 36 36 55 Madame le témoin, avez-vous pu voir Madame ce witness, document Oui, je peux lire le document. Est-ce que ce document vous rappelle quelque chose Does that document remind you of anything Witness, I am not able to find the right page. Je n'arrive pas à trouver la bonne page. Witness, I got the document with me, however, I uh, do not recall. About the event after I read the documents. Je ne me souviens pas de ce qui figure. During that time, I was in the commune and I was not yet transferred to commune. the district. Je n'avais pas encore été transféré au district. Est-ce que vous voyez la signature au bas de ce document? Can you see the signature at the bottom of that document? Yes. Est-ce que vous connaissez, est -ce que vous reconnaissez cette signature? Do you recognize that signature? The name uh, was mine, 
And the le signature was mine. Mien. However, I do not recall uh, the signature document aussi. or the uh, content of the document. Mais je, me, je ne me souviens pas de la teneur de ce document. Alors, il y a également une mention Very well. à côté de votre signature there is also où il est dit ceci. Close to your signature, and it reads à partir as follows. du camarade Uot Copied du comité de l'unité 4. Est-ce que vous Unit savez qui est Uot Do you know who the du person comité Uot de l'unité 4 from the Unit 4 committee was Answer. It was not, the name was not Huot, it was Huot. C'était Huot, pas Huot. Huot Huot was Huot the chief of the units. Le chef de l'unité. Huot est mi con. He was the head of the unit in the village. Le chef de l'unité dans le village. There was an overlap. Quelle était la fonction de cette unité C'était une unité de la milice What was the role of that Quel était unit? le travail de l'unité Was it a unit of the militia What was the work of that unit <coughs> Actually, there were men's units which were under responsibility of the head of uh, men's units. And uh, for men's units, they are working uh, to. Les unités d'hommes. They are working in the fields. Travaillaient dans les champs. And there are also uh, militia units. A militia unit uh, is also working militia. in the fields. Ces unités travaillaient elles aussi dans les champs. Alors, est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer Very well. pourquoi on a marqué copier à Can partir you du camarade explain why Uo? We have that annotation copied from comrade Uo. Quel était le rôle de Uo dans cette affaire What was the role of Uo in this matter Witness. It appears that I uh, did not uh, copy anything from Huo. I uh, do not really understand uh, about this document. Je ne sais pas de quoi il s'agit. Je ne sais pas ce qu'est ce document. Could your honor uh, tell me whether Monsieur the document juge, was dated in 1977 or in 1970 something? Because uh, it was not clear to me in the document that I am read that I am reading now. Car le document que j'ai sous les yeux n'est pas très clair. Alors, je peux vous dire ce que je lis dans la version que j'ai entre les mains, qui est une version française, reading, et il est marqué à la fin, fait à Cheng Tong, le 21 juillet 1977. Je précise que par ailleurs, nous Let avons un out. autre document, way, qui est le document, document E3-4164, ERN the er, en ERN euh, français 0093-7104 et 0073-0097-3147 euh, en, euh, en anglais. 47 in English. Et en Khmer, 
Un incumé. 00 079 337 à 338. Ce document s'intitule « Biographie succincte des prisonniers du bureau éducatif du district de Tramcac » et le premier nom qui figure sur cette liste est celui de Nyang Dam, Dam qui est appelé Cheng Dam en anglais et il est indiqué que la date d'entrée en rééducation est le 20 juillet 1977. Alors, est-ce que cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire I do not really understand about the matter of Dam. As for in 1977, I was still working in the commune. And for Dam, he was working in Krangtachan, so it was under the district responsibility. That is why, as I said, I do not really understand about this matter. Je n'étais pas tellement au courant. Madame le témoin, j'ai peur que vous ne... <rire> j'ai peur qu'il y ait une, une erreur. Witness, Mais quand j'ai donné lecture du document when I read out sur lequel le nom de Nyang Dam figurait, c'était en tant que prisonnier, pas en tant que membre that du personnel was indicated de Frank il a, that of a prisoner nous l'avons entendu, uh, that of a était staff member membre du personnel de Frank Tanchan, mais il semble he que par la suite, il ait été prisonnier. Je vous précise aussi que nous venons de vous donner connaissance d'un rapport qui porte votre signature et qui date de la même période, et la période à laquelle il a, semble-t-il, été arrêté et conduit à Frank Tanchan. Avez-vous des explications? Detained at Krantachan. Do you have any explanations for this? Witness. Dam was not living in or working in Ching Tong commune. He was in Tropeng Kong Kang Chung commune. Il travaillait dans la commune de Tropeng Kang Chung. Why his matter is related to uh, my case? Because, as I said, I do not really understand about this. Moi. As for the signature, it was mine. Signature, effectivement, c'était bien la mienne. Yes, fine, fine. Um, yeah, on va passer à autre chose. I think we should move on to something else. Um. Madame le témoin, Witness, lorsque vous avez été entendu uh, par les co-juges d'instruction, co vous avez dit judges, que you said, uh, il vous arrivait parfois de ne pas toujours uh, respecter les consignes que vous receviez de l'échelon supérieur. Et vous avez dit en particulier qu'il vous est arrivé de cacher du riz. Est-ce que vous pouvez le so confirmer Witness. There were plans from uh, the upper echelon. For example, when uh, people exemple, did not have enough food to eat, and when after the harvest, I uh, would hit, I would hide some uh, to supply uh, my people to have enough food to eat. Mm. It is true that I hit uh, some rice. Mais les habitants puissent manger. Ils pouvaient manger ainsi du riz. Avez-vous caché du Did riz you hide en rice? infraction? in violation of the instructions that were given to you by the district.
Yes, uh, it seems uh, that way. Oui. However, uh, my expectation was uh, to hide it for the uh, supplies to my uh, people. Yes, 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 the uh, reason uh, for hiding uh, the rice was uh, that I did it for my people and I only hid it a few times and uh, most of the time I hid it uh, in the pagoda. Est-ce qu'il vous arrivait de voir Did ou de constater note que des gens that mouraient parce qu'ils n'avaient pas assez à manger due to a shortage of food, as the shortage of food or malnutrition later people to uh, be sick. Ensuite, les gens ont été malades de malnutrition. Je vous demande pas de faire des suppositions, madame. Je vous demande de me dire ce que vous savez. Est-ce que cela s'est produit ou est-ce que cela ne s'est pas produit Est-ce qu'il y a eu des pénuries alimentaires Were there food Et shortages? des gens en sont morts And did people die because of these food shortages First, uh, there were indeed food shortages. However, however, allow me to stress the food uh, shortage in Jingdong uh, commune uh, was not uh, that uh, serious and no one died out of uh, hunger in Jingdong commune. Je comprends pas votre réponse, I don't madame, understand your answer because just before you vous, told us that uh, probably people had died uh, because of food malades. shortages. You told Alors, us that people had been sick. So malades? where were the people Partout who were ailleurs, sick? Were the sick commune? people everywhere else except for in your commune? No. That's not the case. Of course, the people became ill also in my commune. But no one died from starvation in my commune. Although sometimes the food supply was not sufficient. That's what I meant in my previous statement. And that's what I uh, saw uh, in my uh, commune. Et c'était la même situation ailleurs dans le district, ou est-ce que la situation district, était or was the situation pire ou meilleure ailleurs? Bad or was it better elsewhere? Mm. I did not know about what happened in the other areas. You never spoke about production problems when you had meetings at the district level? Never these issues were brought up? Yeah. 
for the meetings at the district. Pour les réunions au niveau du district. They discuss about the uh, rice productions and about the uh, rainy and dry season cultivation et and about the uh, growing vegetables and about uh, finding supplementary food for the people. De légumes et de trouver des aliments supplémentaires pour la population. Bien, j'aurais une dernière question, Fine. madame. I have a last question for you, uh, Miss Witness. Vous avez été you entendu également par uh, le bureau des co-juges d'instruction et vous avez office, été entendu par rapport you were à une annotation qui figure sur un document an annotation that is on où est mentionné uh, le mot « comptic » comme tic, uh, mentioned, com -tic, uh, com -tic uh, écrasé. Which means to smash. Alors, so, Lorsque ce mot s'applique à des personnes this word is arrêtées, to people who were arrested détenues and who are ou considérées comme detained, ennemis, that is people who were quel est le enemies. sens What du then mot was comme tic the real meaning of the word comme tic? Um, It is my understanding that the word uh, come take Je que le means uh, come the arrest or the cleansing. Ou Alors, que veut dire nettoyage, selon so, vous, madame? So, in that case, what does cleansing mean? There are, there are various kinds of cleansings, il y a plusieurs types, namely the arrest de nettoyage, il y a or the uh, getting rid of uh, old ideas or, or concepts and build a new one. Madame, quelqu'un qui était envoyé à Crankton-Shan who was sent to Krang Taksha pour lequel on disait on donnait l'ordre de l'écraser for whom the order was given to smash him à votre avis quel pouvait être le sens de cette ordre what do you believe ordre? then was the meaning of that order nan kyom man dang dai I do not know about its meaning in that context. Je ne sais pas ce que ça veut dire, quel est le sens As I said, the word uh, comme take or, or bottom add or cleansing, I only heard about it, but I myself did not involved in it. Madame, et ce sera ma dernière Witness, observation, je vous rappellerai votre comment. réponse Let me qui figure dans le document E319.12.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2
That's what I uh, said. C'est ce que j'ai dit. And that's what I uh, said because the, that's what I was told. C'est ce que j'ai dit parce que c'est ce que l'on m'a dit. And based on the decision of uh, Pra. À partir de la décision de Pra. <coughs> Qui vous l'avez dit? Who told you that? It was uh, pra. C'était pra. Qui est pra? And who was pra? Pra nang ti thana dam ban. Pra worked at a pra at the sector level. Pra travaillait au niveau du secteur. Merci, madame. Je n'aurai pas d'autres questions. Thank you, witness. I have no further questions for you. President, uh, thank you, uh, Judge Lavey. The chamber would like now to give the floor to the defense teams and first to the defense team for Nunti to put the questions to witness Cambrian. Do you have the floor, counsel? Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors. Good morning, counsel. Um, good morning, Madam Witness. Uh, my name is Victor Koppe. I am the international co-lawyer for Nguyen Chia, and I have uh, some questions to ask to you. Um, first, I would like to start with some follow-up questions um, to questions from the judge uh, this morning. Um, you said that um, at some occasions you were hiding rice um, vous aviez caché to feed le riz your people. Afin de nourrir votre um, when you say, quote unquote, my people, vous dites, ma what exactly do you mean with peuple, that? My people, qu'est-ce que vous entendez exactement par là? When I said uh, my people, I mean the people who were living in my, my commune. People, je voulais dire les gens, la population qui vivait dans ma commune. And when you talk about my people, Question. does it also include de votre population, the ma people population, who had arrived uh, from Phnom Penh or from Takeo provincial town and who were considered uh, new people? Ville de Takeo. Les villes provinciales de Takao et qui étaient considérées comme peuple nouveau. Yes, there I meant everyone. Oui, je voulais parler de tout le monde. So in supplying food to the Question. people of your Donc, commune, you, make, you made no distinction at all commune, between new people and old people. Is that correct? Le nouveau et le peuple ancien. Est-ce exact? Peuple de base. Yeah. Yes. Réponse, oui. How about um, access to hospitals for people who were sick um, and access to malades, medicine for people who were sick? Did you in your commune make any commune, distinction between new people and old people? in terms of access to uh, hospitals and medicines? No. I would send everyone to the hospital and it was up to the hospital staff to treat those people to make there was no distinction between the people in my commune. And how about education? Um, was there a difference in treatment um, for children of parents coming from uh, Phnom Penh or the old people? In other terms, in other words, did everybody in your commune have access to education? Les gens dans votre commune avaient-ils tous accès à l'éducation? Yeah, 
room than uh, the matter of uh, education and uh, schooling they all did it together there was no distinction ils allaient tous à l'école ensemble il n'y avait pas de distinction uh, summarizing, Madam Witness, would it en be résumé, fair to say Madame that in your commune, uh, commune, you did not discriminate so-called new people? De discrimination à l'encontre du peuple nouveau. Est-ce exact? Yeah. Yes. Réponse. C'est exact. In your commune, did you ever send? Somebody for re-education uh, simply because he was a new person? À cause du fait que une Or peuple if you send somebody for re-education, that person si had, to be, had to have done something, done something wrong? Uh, Allow me to clarify that I personally never sent people. If someone made a mistake, then I would report it, report the matter to the upper level, and only after I received the instruction from the upper level, then the person would have been sent. I understand, Maître but do, are you aware of um, situations in your commune or maybe si other communes within District 105 dans votre commune, uh, dans in which commune du district um, 105, people were punished simply because pour des gens uh, they été were new people? Punis tout simplement du fait d'être peuple nouveau. Uh, I only knew uh, what happened in my commune, that is the Chiang Tong commune, and there, were no, there was no such case. Uh, thank you, Madam Witness. Um, some two, two more short questions on uh, the food situation. Um, I would like uh, to read to you a question and answer. Uh, that you gave to the investigators of the co-investigating international co-investigating judge. That's document E319/12.3.2. It is uh, your answer to question um, 56. Um, the, the, the subject is uh, Tamok, and whether you know Tamok. And the question is, did you personally know him? And you answer to the investigators as follows. Yes, I personally knew him. Sometimes he came to see the cooperative kitchen and he asked the people whether they ate enough or not. Tamok visited every site. I met Tamok. Um, can you be, it's a long time ago I realize, but can you be a little more specific as to what exactly Tamok asked you? or ask the people whether they ate enough, yes or no? Was he, in other words, was he concerned about the food situation of the people in the district? Yes, I was concerned about the food situation of the people in the district. Yes, he came uh, through the best, uh, that is through the villages or through the cooperatives, and he would ask the people down there directly. He did not ask me about this matter. Was it your understanding that he was concerned about the situation of food for the people? It uh, seemed that he was uh, concerned about it. Apparemment, il semblait qu'il était inquiet. Did you ever witness any action on his side um, when he saw or concluded that the food situation uh, was difficult? conclure par des actes que la situation alimentaire était difficile. Uh, 
From my observation, de ce que j'ai pu voir, he paid uh, attention to the issue of food il shortage. Il attention à la question de la pénurie alimentaire. I saw him taking food from other, from other places uh, to supplement uh, the areas that they had a shortage of food. Les où il y avait uh, in your recollection, uh, Madam Witness, was it the goal of the regime Le régime avait-il uh, pour objectif sure that everybody d'assurer uh, in democratic Kampuchea had enough to eat? monde ait suffisamment à manger dans le Kampuchea démocratique. Only speak about the area that I lived, Je as I did not have a full understanding about other uh, areas. So, within your area, was it the objective of the regime that everybody in the place where you were assigned to had enough to eat? Vous avez été nommé et suffisamment à manger. Yes, I wanted to have sufficient food for the people to eat, but sometimes there were cases of food shortage. And if that was the case, was it the instructions of the upper, upper echelon to fix the situation as soon as possible? Donnait-il comme instruction de remédier à la situation dès que possible? Yes, uh, there was instruction from the upper level for us to uh, try hard to resolve the living condition of the people. Pour résoudre les problèmes liés aux conditions de vie de la population. Yesterday, Madam Witness, you were asked about um, the stealing of food by people who were hungry, On vous a posé des and questions um, sur you les said, I believe, that that was considered to be a minor offense. Vous avez dit que um, comme un délit if someone had committed such a minor offense, si for instance, stealing a coconut because the person was hungry, par exemple, si what would be une noix de coco parce ou elle avait faim, the sanction against this person, what would happen to this person? Somebody who just stole a coconut because he or she was hungry, what would happen to that person? Nothing would happen. So the only thing was to uh, educate that person as he or she would be told that we were in the same situation. Are you aware of any example either within your commune um, or in other communes within District 105, commune, ou dans uh, people who were executed because they stole uh, a coconut or a cassave. Parce elles volé une noix de coco ou du manioc. I did not have a full uh, understanding of this matter elsewhere. I could only understand about the situation in my commune. Were you implementing the party line um, when it comes to sanctioning, sanctioning people who had stolen food because they were hungry? de la nourriture parce qu'ils avaient faim. I never sanctioned or 
discipline to anyone who stole food uh, like uh, coconut. The only thing that I uh, did was to educate that person that we were in the same situation, that if you were hungry, I myself was also hungry. So please uh, stop doing that again. And in such situations, that you didn't sanction somebody, were you following the instructions from the upper echelon? Yes. The instruction from the upper echelon was that stealing of any food because of the uh, insufficient uh, food, then we should not uh, sanction uh, that individual. And that I implemented uh, that instruction. And did you um, implement that instruction regardless whether the person was a new person uh, or an old person? de la qualité de cette personne, si c'était une personne nouvelle ou une personne du peuple de base Oui. Yes. Réponse, oui. Um, one very last question on the food situation, Madam Witness. Are you aware of any instances um, in which uh, a person who was uh, of the charm origin was forced to eat pork against her or his will? No, I was not aware of such a case and there were no chams in my area. Uh, thank you, Madam Witness. I would like to turn to another subject uh, on which you have been asked already some questions, and that is the policy about uh, marriage within your commune and district. Um, I would like to read a few excerpts from your earlier statement, and um, I will put them together, and then I would like to ask um, your comment on this. Um, first, I would like to start with your answer to question 111, A111. The commune level. Oh, let me let me uh, ask the question first. Um, let me let me cite the question first, Madam Witness. During the Khmer Rouge regime, the party arranged marriages. How did they arrange the marriages? Was there a discussion within the sector level, or was that decided by the cooperative level or village level? The second part of your answer, because the first part was read yesterday, the second part of your answer is the ones who loved each other came to inform us and we listed their names and sent their names to the sector. Those who did not agree also told us they did not agree and we crossed out their names. In answer 112, um, you said if the new people had to marry the old people, and if anyone refused, we crossed their names out because some people had bad backgrounds. Uh, At my site, I checked which men and women worked together and got along with each other, so I arranged them to marry one another. And finally, your answer in 116. What happened, the question is, what happened if they refused to get married as arranged? Your answer, nothing like that happened at my site. They all had known one another because my site was not large. Large. We arranged their marriage and the couples agreed. But if the upper level did not approve, they could not marry. Now, Madam Witness, having read these uh, four excerpts from 
your statement. Madame le témoin, voilà um, quatre extraits de votre déposition. Is it fair to commune, de votre procès verbal de décision, um, peut-on no, conclure que dans uh, votre no commune, of il n'y a pas eu de cas to each other? de personnes qui auraient été mariées de force Ah. Yes. Oui. To be clear, if anybody, pour que les choses soient bien claires. Any man or any woman did not want to si marry another woman or man. Then this person could tell so. Cette personne pouvait Is that le correct? Dire, and then exact. the person wouldn't have to, to marry. Cette personne n'aurait pas alors à se marier. Yeah. Answer, Réponse, yes. Oui. Um, question. One last question in respect of Une dernière marriage question policy. par rapport aux politiques um, relatives au mariage. You spoke about people, Hier, vous avez parlé uh, who divorced de personnes after their qui marriage. auraient divorcé après leur mariage. Were you speaking mariage. about divorces um, in the time that you were Lorsque vous parlez de chief, divorce, Or were you speaking about divorces after Got married so voluntarily. Later on, they could Les gens qui get se mariaient divorce. de leur plein gré pouvaient bien sûr divorcer par la suite. But, but just to be clear, are you speaking Mais pour que les choses soient vraiment claires, parlez-vous de divorce qui aurait eu lieu entre 1975 et 1979 Les gens avaient-ils le droit de divorcer sous le régime, de Kampuchea within sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique au sein de votre commune Answer. Réponse. In the period of 1975 and 1977, there were also divorces and the old people. I do not know the figures how many people And uh, there were no torture inflicted on uh, those who agreed to get divorced. Aucune torture pour ceux qui souhaitaient divorcer. It's a long time ago, uh, Madam Witness. I realize that, but do you remember any couples from your commune who got divorced commune, between 75 and 79? Entre 1975 et 1979. Answer. Yes, there were Réponse. couples oui. who got divorced. Certains couples ont divorcé. However, I uh, do not recall uh, them, but Cela dit, and I do not recall de... uh, where they got divorced. Je ne me souviens pas non plus d'où ils, de... de quel de quel endroit ils ont divorcé. Did they get divorced when you were still commune Question. chief? Ont-ils divorcé alors que vous étiez encore chef de la commune? Yeah. Answer, Réponse, yes. Oui. Did, did you as commune chief have to give en tant que chef de commune, permission deviez-vous donner une autorisation quelconque pour qu'un couples? divorce puisse avoir lieu yeah. Réponse. Even I did not permit them to get divorced, they Même eventually si got divorced. However, I try to negotiate and try to advise uh, the ones who wanted to get divorced, and if they did not agree and could not uh, get back to each other, and then they got divorced. 
Um, thank you, Madam Witness. Now I would like to move to another question. Merci, subject. Madame la Témoin. J'aimerais um, passer à un autre sujet. Subject of um, District Chief Il s'agit Com du chef de district in, qui s'appelait um, Com. Answer 285 Dans votre réponse 285 of your the investigators of the co investigating de judge, avec les enquêteurs des uh, co-juges d'instruction, vous avez dit que Com souffrait de problèmes de troubles you mentaux. describe a little bit more what you remember from the personality uh, of Com? Ce dont vous vous souvenez à propos de la personnalité de Com? Yeah. Answer. Réponse. Com was not a as a normal person as us. Com uh, pas she normal had comme nous. a psychiatric problem Elle souffrait de problèmes on some occasions. De temps en temps. That what I know. Voilà ce que je savais à son sujet. And, and do you know Question. what kind of psychiatric problem Et savez-vous de quel trouble had? psychiatrique elle souffrait exactement Answer. I uh, do not réponse. know the type of psychiatric problem she had, but I know that she had uh, such a problem. Mais je sais qu'elle souffrait de ces problèmes-là. And I understand Question. that the, the, the title of her disease is maybe difficult to describe, je but could you, if you remember, describe her behavior? Bien, What was it nom de sa maladie, um, you, mais pourriez-vous peut-être décrire un peu son comportement What was her like? Comment se comportait-elle Pourriez-vous nous dire ce qui vous permettait de dire qu'elle souffrait de problèmes psychiatriques Nyam. Réponse. Answer. I was not uh, with her uh, regularly or Always, that is why I Je ne la fréquentais uh, do pas not beaucoup. know well. Je ne la connaissais pas bien. Um, maybe I, I understand it's not, not, not very nice to speak about someone's mental problems, but if, if you de de try to remember, um, what was it that Com did? Mais which nous dire indicated that she had psychiatric problems. Ce que faisait Com et qui montrait qu'elle souffrait de troubles psychiatriques. Witness, it is uh, very difficult for me to describe. Il m'est très difficile de On some occasion, I uh, noticed that uh, she was uh, walking. Parfois, j'ai constaté uh, having food. I uh, was staying with her for, you know, once in a while, so I uh, could not describe her personality as well. Mais je ne pourrais vraiment décrire sa personnalité uh, my final avec question précision. On home, uh, Madam Witness, do you know, do you remember whether question. her Une dernière question, Madame mental Madame illness uh, influenced the decisions that she made si within the district. Les troubles dont elle souffrait ont eu un impact sur les décisions qu'elle a prises au niveau du district. Yeah. Answer yes. Réponse oui. In relation to your question, uh, she made I mean Com uh, made the decision je dirais que on her Com own, the decision in the commune. She has uh, never uh, come to discuss uh, with uh, those who were in the commune. Avec les de la commune. Um, I understand, but my, my question was whether you know uh, if her mental suivante. illness -vous in some si way Sa maladie mentale avait une influence quelconque sur les décisions qu'elle prenait. Answer yes. Réponse. It may be oui. such a case. 
I uh, could not describe and recall it exactly, but yes. Mais je ne m'en souviens pas exactement. Je ne pourrais pas le décrire exactement. Mais je dirais que oui. Um, Mr. President, I am looking at the clock. Is this Maître could Copé. be a moment to, uh, to have a break. Monsieur le Président, je regarde l'heure. Je pense qu'il est temps de faire une pause. Le Président. President, thank you very merci, much. Merci beaucoup. Madame Kumbuen and uh, Mr. Duty Council, it is now the uh, break time. The chamber take a break, a short break from now until 10:30, and uh, by that time the hearing will resume. And uh, I instruct uh, the witness and duty council to be present before 10:30. The court être de is retour now in recess. Pour la poursuite de l'audience à 10h30. Suspension de l'audience.